Uh, back to another video. It's been six months since the last time I did a plush review. And the plush I'll be reviewing today is Yami Star Plush. Now, you may have seen her in, uh, if you've seen my review of uh, Vienna 1989 by Nirvana. If you don't know who Ami Star is, uh, she's, a first, she's the first suitor slash artist in charge of the company Corgi Beans. In September of 2022, Corgi Beans uh, build a fur division announced that the Ami Star plush was available for pre-order. I pre-ordered her and I had to wait almost a year to receive mine. Initially, I thought I'd be receiving mine around December or January. Unfortunately, the prototype was sent back to the factory to be redesigned. Fast forward to August of 2023 when the plush finally made it to production. It wasn't until September 8th of this shitty year when I finally received mine. Now she's here, I can finally review her, which is what I'm doing right now. Corgi Beans said on their website that the plush is made with fake fur and complex embroideries. You can see the embroidery on, on her eyes and her paw pads. Yeah, right there. Now, Ami Star said on Twitter that her first it was made by Made For You. You know, it's been about two years since the last time I followed that company on social media. I stated that Ami Star is an artist. Yeah, not just a fursuiter. Now, some of the things that she doesn't draw include realistic guns, heavily detailed backgrounds, and copyrighted characters. That's not really a problem for me, because I could always commission someone else to draw that. There are also various fetishes that she doesn't draw, but I'm not going to get into detail about that. And now for the actual plush. As you can see, the plush looks uh, pretty accurate, uh... Uh, to her actual fursuit. And uh, now the tag here says that the plush was designed in the USA and made in China. So it's obvious that Foxconn was responsible for manufacturing. Another thing I wanted to mention is that, um, is that the plush came in this bag right here. And it's actually pretty convenient, despite the fact that the last five plushes I ordered from Corgi Beans were uh, came sealed in plastic bags. That's right. This is the sixth time I reviewed a plush from Corgi Beans. However, this plush wasn't the only thing that was in the bag, because there were also some other things included as well. Yeah, first up, there is uh, this card. And it's, it's a close-up of it. And there's also a QR code for VR chat. And there's also this card right here. And there's also a VR code right there. And now, uh, see, there's also a business card. And uh, of course, this isn't uh, the first time I got one of these. And uh, the last thing that was included is uh, this card right here. And this card always seems to come bundled with everything that you, you know, whenever you buy something from Corgi Beans. Now, I'm not sure what kind of music Star is into, though this plush was listening to Metallica with me this morning. Now, overall, I really like this plush, and she will be featured in future videos going forward. If you want a plush just like this, I'm going to leave a link to uh, Corgi Bean's website so you, can, you know, so you can check so you can get one for yourself, along with some other cool shit. And now this is part where I question you: Have you actually have you actually met uh, Ami Star in person? Do you currently own an Ami Star plush? Do you plan on buying one? Have you actually commissioned artwork from her? You know, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.